Hey, this is Michael with RI3D at Purdue. Uh, we're gonna be going over the general system that we have developed for acquiring game pieces, scoring game piece, as we finish the core structure of our robot and are now just working out some of the more minute details and troubleshooting some problems that we've gone into. Um, but basically, here is our robot. Uh, it is made up of this intake right here, uh, this core arm slash shooter, uh, which is attached to the intake with the wrist, and then the shoulder here, which is attached to the A-frame and the chassis of the robot. Um, so Tommy's gonna go over how our robot is able to pick up game pieces from the ground. So this is, would be our starting configuration of the game, but to pick up from the ground, we would drop down the bot. We don't have our bumpers on now yet, but if we had bumpers, it would rest against the bumper. And if you see at this angle right here, the angle up here allows the wheels to touch while still having our ramp to the floor, and it'll be able to pull up I'll be able to pull in up to here, and Josh will cover our human player station. Yep, so whenever we're wanting to intake through our human player station, we'll have our robot up with its arm and with intake right up next to the human player station. We'll hold it there with our motors, and then our human player simply just has to drop the note down in. Our intake will suck it up, and we'll be ready to go. Now I'm gonna hand it off to Michael to talk about scoring in the amp. Yeah, so once our robot has a game piece loaded into its intake, uh, we're able to score directly into the amp station. Uh, so we simply line up with the amp station, uh, put it here, and then deposit the game piece and score it out. So, yeah. Um, right now we don't have anything wired up or programmed, um, like actually to show off the robot uh, driven by a driver, but we're working on that and we'll have that uh, to be able to demonstrate the robot in action uh, pretty soon. So, yeah, stay tuned.